lot of the things that we've been seeing today, uh, these complicated databases, uh, these complicated applications, um, the beauty of the operator is that the complexity is programmed into the operator and frees up the administrator to uh, do what they do rather than worrying about the specific application. Um, but of course, the problem with that is that you then have to write an operator uh, and you have to lifecycle that operator. And so the operator framework is uh, a project that's attempting to solve those problems uh, as much as we can to make writing operators easier for all of you. Um, and it is, of course, open source. And as of uh, 2020, we are a CNCF incubating project. We have over 200 individual contributors at the moment. And um, I put the link to our community repo here. Um, we've been divided into uh, working groups as well. So we've got operator SDK. That's what will scaffold, help you test. Um, operator lifecycle manager will help you manage your lifecycle. And then we've got some language-based um, individual meetings. So uh, operator framework can help you write operators in Helm, Ansible, Java, Go, and more coming. Um, and I will also give you all of these links that you'll never remember, but the big one is the website, our GitHub, and this mailing list. Um, if you subscribe to that mailing list, you'll also get our calendar invites as well. Uh, we've also got, we're also around on Slack, and we are very friendly. We accept newbie questions. We accept advanced questions. We just like to get feedback because, in truth, operators are such a wide uh a wide field that there's just so many use cases that we could never dream of. So we need to hear from everyone. What are your use cases? What do you need from the operator SDK? What do you need from OLA? Uh, how can we help you to do that? Um, but that's, that's about it for me. Um, but do feel free to ask me any questions now or uh, join us in Slack or whatever. And we'll be very friendly, I promise.